You guys have been bugging me for months when we're going to come out with a kit for one of these things. So today we're going to shut you up. Today is a little bit bittersweet for me because as much as I am excited to cut up the first gen and get going on this platform making front and rear kits and all the supporting parts, I'm sad because this thing's been my daily driver since 2023 and I love this truck. So now I'm out of daily, but I guess we'll trade it out for a crawler. I guess it evens out but if you got a first gen tacoma maybe even a six shift one for sale on the west coast give me a call i need a daily the plan with this truck is about the same as our red 08 tacoma it's going to be on some one tons and 40s we've already got a set of axles here 05 and up super duty this thing's already prepped ready to go just have to get all the brackets on it and put it back together going to set it up for a 40 inch tire running a set of fox 2.5 by 12 coilovers up front and in the back we'll be running a set of 2.5 by 14 inch coilovers with our fabricated trailing arms so you see the truck you know what we're putting under it i think it's time to get to work i always wondered why this thing sounded so good now we know custom muffler Both shock towers are out, rack and pinions disconnected from the firewall, sway bars unbolted, brake lines are off. This one came off by fire. I need to just cut both of these cross members out and we should have the whole front end out of this thing. And the goal will be to get the front end out by lunch, go eat some food, come back, tidy it up, and cut all the brackets off the frame. Front ends out. I gotta grind it all off. The front end of this thing is filthy. I don't know if you could see it here, but it is just nasty. So, Jet just got the bed on the forklift. We're sticking that outside. We're gonna roll this thing outside and clean it because <laughs> I don't know if the video showed it, but it caught on fire a couple times and it's just a mess. Uh, and it's only going to get worse once you start cutting it and getting it hotter and things like that. Damn! She dirty!
Look how much better that is. Cleaned. Shop's clean. So we're gonna get the rear end pulled apart, get the spare out, get the axle out. Gonna pull the tank. We'll remove all the rear brackets, all the front brackets, and not tomorrow, but the day after, we got a hot date with Josh, who is gonna scan this thing for us. Fucker hit me in the shin. For the longest time, I thought, man, Jed is great, you know, great employee. Yeah. Pretty cool to have here. Then I found out today, who don't you know? What's his name? Dude doesn't know who Fred Durst is. Fred Durst. Let me know in the comments if we should fire Jed. We're about to strip all the brackets off this truck. So we gotta take the rear leaf spring bracket off, the front leaf spring bracket, and then whatever the fuck Nick's gonna do in the front. <laughs> For me up front, I gotta cut out all the old IFS cross member stuff, sway bar bracket stuff. I gotta recap this motor mount up top because that kind of incorporated into the old shock tower. Then I gotta swap the oil pan. So the only thing I'm not sure about on the oil pan is the dipstick. I think I have to drill like a new hole for the dipstick. But I'm sure the internet has that information. So let's get to cutting. Both sides of the outside of the frame are tidied up. We're gonna get onto the bottom, get that before we go to the inside of the frame. What you got? Uh, four and a half out of six brackets. All right. This one, this one, that side. You are working these ones and then clean up the frame and. Damn, then you're done? We're golden. All right, we're done with cleaning the brackets off the frame. Our part-time shop foreman showed up, so let's get a progress report from him. Well, I'll tell you this, Jet's f***ing off again. F*** you, Austin. Yeah, you wish passing her. Black and blue, I'm in love with you. Josh is here. We are getting set up to scan this thing, and I realize I have to still swap the oil pan, because we want to get that in the scan so we can get the axle in it and know that everything clears where it needs to be. Just get everything more exact. So I'm gonna swap the oil pan and then we're gonna get to scanning. Okay. After putting about like 200 of these little scanning dots all over the truck, we're gonna scan the front half to about the transfer case area first. We're gonna get the inner fender wells, all the drivetrain, everything to where if we model the axles into our scan, we can know our clearances for sure on everything. Front half's gonna be a lot more work to scan than the back, because obviously the back is just a bare frame. So we're gonna scan the front half, get all of that coordinated, and then once that's done, we'll move all of the pickup points, all those little stickers, magnets, everything like that, to the back of the truck. Scan the back, and then we'll take the two scans, put them together, and make one, and then be one big happy scan family.
The main focus right now is once we get this scanned, we're going to design a front frame plate that wraps the top and bottom of the frame the same way our second and third gen kits do. So we'll make a blank frame plate for the front. We've already got a blank frame plate from the rear from when we did the first gen trailing arm video. If you guys watched that one, if not, go back and give it a look. That was our first time messing with this platform. So we're going to make the two frame plates, front and rear, probably going to come out with a cross member right away and then everything else I will build custom on my plasma table so that we can dial in the fitment as much as possible because as much as you can look at your files on the computer, nothing is really as good as just doing it in person because there's no question as to whether it fits or not. So make a couple parts and then we can start building this thing. So there's the front scan that we did, and we transitioned all the targets to the middle of the truck. Got that all scanned. That's crazy. And then transition the targets to the rear. Oh, look at that, we have a full Tacoma. Dude, it's so good. Well, there you have it. Josh got all our scans done. He went ahead and made us a front frame plate and he's got our cross member drawn up as well. So I've sent those files off to laser. Should be a week or two till we get them back. And then we can get some axles under this thing, which I'm really looking forward to. So if you like today's video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss episode two, which will be out in about a month, I would say, where we get this thing into a roller. We'll see you later.